This video will look at the immediate physiological responses to training. This is the last dot point in the critical question, what is the relationship between physical fitness, training and movement efficiency? This is all part of the preliminary core to the body in motion. Hello everyone, back again, Sydney Uni, here with my, uh, my athlete Nick, and today we're gonna to be talking about the physiological responses to training. So, let's get out there. Let's do it. Let's look at the syllabus. This is the last dot point in the critical question, what is the relationship between physical fitness, training and movement efficiency? Under this dot point, we will learn about heart rate, ventilation rate, stroke volume, cardiac output and lactate levels. And we will learn to examine the reasons for the changing patterns of respiration and heart rate during and after submaximal physical activity. So we're going to start with heart rate, we're going to do some simple drills up and back. Your heart rate is going to start about here. When you're running up and back, spike up to about there. With that, you've got ventilation as well. Oh yeah. You heard of that? Yeah. Ventilation is going to start there as well, running up and back. So when you get back, we should notice that your heart rate has gone up mm -hmm. and your ventilation, so you'll be breathing a lot more often. Oh, sick. Yeah, you ready to get out there? Let's do it. running out there your heart rate you started at 55 let's check what it is now 130 so that's increased with your running your ventilation rate you can see you're breathing quite heavily you started at 12 a resting rate you're now at 40 that's a massive increase it is let's get back out there you're not wrong there Nick so let's look more closely at heart rate and ventilation rate heart rate is defined as the amount of times your heart beats in a minute Heart rate increases quickly once beginning exercise and then plateaus once a constant effort is maintained. Once training is finished, the trained athlete's heart rate will return to normal levels or resting rate. Ventilation rate is a measure of how many breaths a person takes per minute and is also known as the respiratory rate. Ventilation rate is very similar to heart rate in that it will increase in response to training and this increase is linked directly to the intensity of training. As we know, both heart rate and ventilation rate will increase in response to training. But why is this the case, you ask? It is because during exercise, the body increases concentration of carbon dioxide in the blood, which it has to get rid of. And also, the body's demand for oxygen increases. Heart rate increases in response to exercise because the body detects an increase in carbon dioxide in the blood. This increase in carbon dioxide indicates that the body requires more oxygen, which results in your body increasing its heart rate. Ventilation rate responds similarly as it removes the carbon dioxide through exhaling. By increasing your respiratory rate, your body increases the amount of carbon dioxide removed, while at the same time increasing the amount of oxygen inspired. As you can see, the heart rate can be seen to increase at the beginning of training, increasing quickly to around 120 beats per minute in the training athlete. After this, the body responds to the carbon dioxide levels in the blood to increase the heart rate as required. Once training is finished, the trained athlete's heart rate will return to normal levels faster than the untrained athlete. Also, note the difference between a trained and untrained athlete, with the trained athlete having a lower heart rate than the untrained athlete and also returning to normal rates faster. Similar to the changes in heart rate, the ventilation rate increases at the beginning of training. The athlete's ventilation rate then increases according to the intensity, with the untrained athlete requiring higher ventilation rate than the trained athlete. After training, the trained athlete returns to normal faster than the untrained athlete. Stroke volume and cardiac output. Okay, Doc. Uh, be with you in a second. Hold on. Hey, Doc. How are you going? Thanks, guys. Thanks. Good, thank you. Grab a seat there. Coach, how are we? Not bad. Not bad. We've been doing some training. What's our staff below doing? Oh, well, we've just come in to learn about stroke volume and cardiac output. Well, before we learn about it, let's uh, let's do some measuring right now. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Just give me the right uh, left hand there and slide this on. Oh, that's and, a great uh, We'll do a bit of measuring there and, um, you know. Right. 
There's no security about it. It's nice. Oh, You've been trying to hunt them up. Fellas, no delay here. No, I've got some great right. news for you. Oh, you know, nice. uh, results are fantastic. But before we go any further, I just want to show you something here. Nick and Angus. Oh, sure, Doc. This is how stroke volume and cardiac output works. It's quite simple. Um, we're resting here. And the more we exercise and the more we train, that shoots up. Very easy. So, this is where we want you at the Premiership match. Okay. Am I there, Doc? You're almost there. Oh, we're going to get you that news. That's great news. Thanks, Doc. No worries. Let's take a closer look at this. Stroke volume is the volume of blood pumped out of the left ventricle with each contraction of the heart. While cardiac output is very similar and can be defined as the volume of blood pumped out of the left ventricle in a minute. Cardiac output can be calculated by multiplying stroke volume by heart rate. For example, if an athlete's stroke volume is 100 milliliters per beat, and heart rate is 60 beats per minute, what would their cardiac output be? Please note that cardiac output is measured in litres. The correct answer is 6 litres. Now, let's look more closely at why stroke volume increases during exercise and training. An average human has a stroke volume of approximately 70 millilitres, and this number can double during high intensity exercise. A conditioned athlete will be able to attain an even higher stroke volume. As I said earlier, stroke volume's immediate response during exercise is to increase. As shown in the graph, an athlete's stroke volume will increase until it reaches about 63% of an athlete's maximum heart rate and then plateau throughout the remaining increase in intensity. The extra increase in cardiac output, remember that's the amount of blood leaving the left ventricle per minute, will be provided by an increase in the heart rate. Cardiac output will also increase during exercise. There are a few reasons why stroke volume and cardiac output will increase during exercise. One, there is an increase of blood returning to the heart due to muscle contractions. Two, there is a greater demand for oxygen and therefore the heart contracts more forcefully during exercise. Three, there is less resistance to the blood moving out of the ventricle due to widening of the vessels. And finally, there is a need for the body to remove carbon dioxide. This graph shows the immediate physiological responses for the heart to training. As you can see, a rise in the stroke volume and the heart rate ultimately causes an increase in cardiac output. During the recovery phase after exercise is complete, both the heart rate and stroke volume slowly return to resting levels, which naturally also brings cardiac output back to resting level. Go! Oh. Keep going! Uh. Uh. Faster! Uh. Uh. You're can't slowing! Keep going! I can't do it, coach. That's because of lactic acid. Oh. Lactic acid refers to the amount of lactate and or lactic acid in your blood. Lactic acid is produced by the lactic acid energy system as a byproduct of training, where it is quickly converted to lactate before being transported to the liver, where it becomes glucose. Lactate levels rise as a result of training. This is directly related to the intensity of training. When the body uses the lactic acid system, lactate levels in the blood begin to rise in response to training intensity is greater than 85%. Of course this isn't to say that lactate levels don't rise during lower intensity exercise, however the increase is minimal and is maintained before returning to normal after training. While increases in lactate levels are minimal during aerobic exercise or lower intensity exercise, the spike in lactate levels caused during high intensity training is far greater. As seen in the table below, lactate levels experienced at an aerobic level plateau and remain the same until the completion of exercise whereas at an anaerobic level, lactate increases in response to bursts of intense exercise, increasing gradually until training is ceased or the athlete reaches fatigue. It should also be noted that lactic acid has no physical benefits to performance and is a rather useful indication of overexertion. I could have kept going, coach. Could have isn't good enough, Nick. I've told you before, lactic acid. Wait, coach. I, I can do better, all, Nick. I can do better. Jog it in. Like 
Yeah, of course, coach. I've learned that heart rate, ventilation, stroke volume, cardiac output, and lactate levels all increase during training, and they all impact our performance. Well done. Thanks, coach. Appreciate it. In summary, the body demonstrates five immediate physiological responses to exercise. These are changes to heart rate, ventilation rate, stroke rate, cardiac output, and lactate levels. All components increase proportionally to the intensity of training. These changes occur to allow the working muscles to receive an increased supply of oxygen and nutrients and to remove waste such as carbon dioxide. Trained athletes will also be more efficient in all physiological responses. Nick and Agus accept no responsibility for the use or misuse of any information found in this informative video. Any unsolicited or unsupervised use of this material is punishable under the 1972 Educational Film Act passed in 1973, with copyright permission to be granted from the makers of the resource themselves. As a result, any information presented in this video can be